Scotland has a long history of universal provision of public education, and the Scottish education system is distinctly different from those in the other countries of the United Kingdom. The Scotland Act 1998 gives the Scottish Parliament legislative control over all education matters, and the Education Act 1980 is the principal legislation governing education in Scotland. Traditionally, the Scottish system at secondary school level has emphasised breadth across a range of subjects, while the English, Welsh and Northern Irish systems have emphasised greater depth of education over a smaller range of subjects. Following this, Scottish universities generally have courses a year longer than their counterparts elsewhere in the UK, though it is often possible for students to take more advanced specialised exams and join the courses at the second year. One unique aspect is that the ancient universities of Scotland issue a Master of Arts as the first degree in humanities. State schools are owned and operated by the local authorities which act as education authorities, and the compulsory phase is divided into primary school and secondary school. Schools are supported in delivering learning and teaching by Education Scotland. There are also private schools across the country. Although the distribution is uneven with such schools in 22 of the 32 local authority areas. At September 2011 the total pupil population in Scotland was 702,104, of which 31,425 pupils, or 4.5%, were being educated in independent schools. Qualifications at the secondary school and post-secondary level are provided by the Scottish Qualifications Authority which is the national awarding and accrediting body in Scotland, and delivered through various schools, colleges and other centres. Political responsibility for education at all levels is vested in the Scottish Parliament and the Learning Directorate. Inspections and audits of educational standards are conducted by three bodies, Care Inspectorate inspects care standards in pre-school provision. Education Scotland for pre-school, primary, education further and community education. With the Scottish Office of the Quality Assurance Agency for Higher Education responsible for higher education. In 2014, research by the Office for National Statistics found that Scotland was the most highly educated country in Europe and among the most well educated in the world in terms of tertiary education attainment, above countries like Finland, Ireland and Luxembourg with roughly 40% of Scots aged 16 a Euro 64 educated to NVQ level 4 and above. School years. Children start primary school aged between 4 or 1 half and 5 or 1 half depending on when the child's birthday falls. Scottish school policy places all those born between March of a given year and February of the following year in the same year group. Children born between March and August start school in August at between 5 or 1 half and 5 years old, and those born between September and February start school in the previous August at between age 4 years 11 months and 4 or 1 half years old. The Scottish system is the most flexible in the UK, however, as parents of children born between September and December can request a deferral for one year, whilst children born between January and February can opt to hold their child back a year and let them start school the following August. This usually allows those not ready for formal education to have an extra year at nursery school, pupils remain at primary school for seven years. Then aged 11 or 12, they start secondary school for a compulsory four years with the following two years being optional. In Scotland, pupils sit national 4-5 exams at the age of 15-16, for normally eight subjects including compulsory exams in English and mathematics. A science subject and a social subject were also compulsory, but this was changed as accordance with the new curriculum. It is now required by the Scottish Parliament for students to have two hours of physical education a week. Each school may vary these compulsory combinations. The school leaving age is generally 16, after which students may choose to remain at school and study for higher and or advanced higher exams. A small number of students at certain private, independent schools may follow the English system and study towards GCSE instead of National 4 fifths S, and towards A and AS levels instead of higher grade and advanced higher exams. The International Baccalaureate has also been introduced in some independent schools. The table below lists rough equivalences with the year system in the rest of the United Kingdom. 
equals access to nursery, primary and secondary school equals, government-funded schools are free for children aged 5 a year or 19. In many cases, this applies to children of international postgraduate students, and other immigrants. The age ranges specify the youngest age for a child entering that year and the oldest age for a child leaving that year. Children may start attending nursery as soon as they have passed their third birthday, and progress to primary one in the August of the year in which they turn five. In general, the cutoff point for ages is the end of February, so all children must be of a certain age on March 1 to begin class in August. All parents of children born between September and February are entitled to defer entry to primary school if they believe their child is not ready for school. Only children whose birthdays fall in January or February will be considered for funding for a subsequent year at nursery, unless there are special circumstances. Children may leave school once they reach their statutory school leaving date. This is dependent on date of birth. For children born between March 1 and September 30, this date is May 31 of their fourth year of secondary school. For children born between October 1 and February 28, the last day of June is the first date they may leave school if they have a placement at college and the school have signed the health and safety forms. Which high school a child goes to depends on the area they live in, known as the catchment area, which has a specific high school which takes children. Parents can also apply for a placement request if they would like their child to attend a school outside their catchment area and a panel will decide if the child is the most worthy to take one of the spaces left after all children from the catchment area have been taken. The table below lists list the numbers of children, schools and teachers in all publicly funded schools. Home education is also legal in Scotland. Parents wishing to home educate do not need the permission of the local authority unless the children are already registered at a school. There are no exact numbers available for children being educated at home in Scotland. Equals curriculum equals, in 2003, work began on an education reform program, to produce a new curriculum for excellence that would replace existing guidance on the school curriculum. Curriculum for Excellence was launched in Scottish secondary schools from school session 2012 a Euro 2013. School qualifications, progression in qualifications, the vast majority of Scottish pupils take Scottish qualifications certificate qualifications provided by the Scottish Qualifications Authority. Generally, most pupils take National 4 fifths S in S3 S4, and higher in S5. For those who wish to remain at school for the final year, more hires and advanced hires in S6 can be taken. Intermediate 1 and Intermediate 2 qualifications a Euro were intended to be roughly equivalent to general and credit level standard grades respectively, but in practice, Intermediate 1 was easier than general, and Intermediate 2 harder than credit a Euro can also be taken in lieu of any of the aforementioned qualifications. Pupils can go to university at the end of S5, as high as provide the entry requirements for Scottish universities where degrees are normally four years long. However, recently it is more common for students to remain until S6, taking further hires and or taking advanced hires. All educational qualifications in Scotland are part of the Scottish Credit and Qualifications Framework. Secondary School Naming There is not a set name for secondary schools in Scotland, but whatever they might be called, with just a few specific exceptions in mainly rural or island authorities, state secondary schools in Scotland are fully comprehensive and non-selective. Amongst the state-run secondary schools, 188 are nominally high schools. These are spread across the country. Almost all Catholic secondaries are high schools, with the majority of the other names being non-denominational schools. For example, in West Dumbartonshire, the non-denominational schools are Vale of Leven, Dumbarton, and Clydebank Academies while the Catholic school is Our Lady and St. Patrick's High School. 131 are nominally academies. These are spread across the country but are in high concentration in northeast Scotland and Ayrshire. There are also three royal academies, in Irvine, North Ayrshire, Tame, and Inverness. Fifteen are nominally secondary schools. 14 are nominally grammar schools. Most of these schools were defined as grammar schools under a previous system but their names remain. 
popular areas for grammar schools are Argyll and Butte, East Lothian and South Lanarkshire. Thirteen are simply schools. These schools cater for primary as well as secondary school children. They are found in rural areas or islands. Eight are junior high schools. These schools are found exclusively in the Orkney and Shetland Islands. They cater for school children from P1 to S4. Four are colleges. These include Madras College, Mar College and St. Joseph's College. Other schools include the Community School of Orkterada, Orkterada, Perth and Kinross. The Nicholson Institute, Stornoway, Western Isles. North Walls Community School on Hoy, Orkney Islands and Wester Highlands Education Centre, Wester Highlands, Edinburgh. All of these are, equally, fully comprehensive non-selective schools, differing only in designation from all other state secondary schools in Scotland. Religious schools, the majority of schools are non-denominational, but as a result of the Education Act 1918, separate denominational state schools were also established. The vast majority of denominational state schools are Roman Catholic but there are also three Scottish Episcopal schools and one Jewish school. Roman Catholic school buildings, which had been built and maintained by the Roman Catholic Church, were handed over to the state under the Education Act. Since then, Roman Catholic schools have been fully funded by the Scottish Government and administered by the Education and Lifelong Learning Directorate. As part of the arrangement that brought Roman Catholic schools within the state education system, there were specific legal provisions made to ensure the promotion of a Roman Catholic ethos in such schools, applicants for positions in the areas of religious education, guidance or senior management must be approved by the Roman Catholic Church in Scotland, which also appoints a chaplain to each of its schools. Vocational Education Vocational education is provided in further education colleges and through apprenticeship. Music education, music education is available at several levels. Formal music education begins at four or one half years and can progress as high as postgraduate studies. Music education can take place within a Scottish music school, through a music service or privately. Scottish Gaelic medium education. Some schools in Scotland provide education given in the Scottish Gaelic language. They are mainly located in the main cities of Scotland and in areas with higher amounts of Gaelic speakers. Gaelic medium education is becoming increasingly popular throughout Scotland, and the number of pupils who are in Gaelic medium education at primary school level has risen from 24 in 1985, to 2500 in the 2012 Euro 13 school year. Universities. There are 15 universities in Scotland and three other institutions of higher education which have the authority to award academic degrees. The oldest is St Andrews, which was founded in 1413. Three other ancient universities, Glasgow, Aberdeen and Edinburgh, date from before 1600. The University of the Highlands and Islands gained full university status in 2011 having been created through the Federation of 13 Colleges and Research Institutions across the Highlands and Islands, a process that began in 2001. All Scottish universities have the power to award degrees at all levels, undergraduate, taught postgraduate, and doctoral. Education in Scotland is controlled by the Scottish Government under the terms of the Scotland Act 1998. The Minister responsible for Higher Education is the Cabinet Secretary for Education and Lifelong Learning, currently Angela Constance MSP of the Scottish National Party. University status in Scotland and throughout the United Kingdom today is conferred by the Privy Council which takes advice from the Quality Assurance Agency for Higher Education. All Scottish universities are public universities and funded by the Scottish Government and financial support is provided for Scottish domiciled students by the Student Awards Agency for Scotland. Students ordinarily resident in Scotland or the European Union do not pay tuition fees for their first undergraduate degree, but tuition fees are charged for those from the rest of the United Kingdom. All students are required to pay tuition fees for postgraduate education except in certain priority areas funded by the Scottish Government, or if another source of funding can be found. A representative body called Universities Scotland works to promote Scotland's universities, 
as well as six other higher education institutions. In 2008 Euro 09, Approximately 231,000 students studied at universities or institutes of higher education in Scotland, of which 56% were female and 44% male, with 75% being domiciled in Scotland, 12% from the rest of the United Kingdom, and the remainder international students. Of all these, approximately 130,000 were studying for their first degree, 42,000 for a taught postgraduate degree and 10,000 for a doctoral research degree. The remainder were mostly on other programs such as higher national diploma. Of all these, 16,000 were studying in Scotland with the Open University via distance learning, and the Open University teaches 40% of Scotland's part-time undergraduates. In the 2013 a Euro 14 times higher education world university rankings, Five Scottish universities are among the top 200 worldwide, University of Edinburgh, University of St Andrews, University of Glasgow, University of Aberdeen, and the University of Dundee. History of Education in Scotland For information about the education system in Scotland in the past, see History of Education in Scotland. See also, List of schools in Scotland, List of independent schools in Scotland. Home Education in the United Kingdom, Music Schools in Scotland, Association of Educational Development and Improvement Professionals, List of Further Education Colleges in Scotland, Her Majesty's Inspectorate of Education. References External links, Silicon Glen, Scotland A Euro Intro to Scottish Education